E nga koutou nou mai ki te tau tuawha o Hunting Aotearoa. Ko tēnei te hōtaka mahi aru aru tahi a te matua me te tama. Ka tīmata i te kaihautu waka topa topa nō rotu rua Tim, laua ko tana tama Jonathan. He whai whai tia te mahi ki te wāhi e ki ana ko Tree Top Slots. Ka tahi, ka aru aru tahi māua ko taku pāpā ki rua tāhuna. Nō rēra kia mau tonu mai mō ngā mahi oho Māori o tēnei hōtaka o Hunting Aotearoa. Tēnei wāhanga kua huri te ihua te waka ki taku ukai pō ki Rotorua. Mr. Manu! Today we're cruising out in style. Helipro Helicopters Base in Rotorua. Today we're heading out to treetops with Tim and his young fella Jonathan. And hopefully today we're going to get to see his young fella, only 12 years of age, shoot his first deer. Ko treetops teta hi o ngā wahi pairawa mo te whakata. Engari, ka pai hoki teutu. I tēnei rā, ke te tuku e treetops ngā mātua ki te aku i o rātou tama ki ngā mahi aru aru i raru i o rātou tohu tohu i roto hoki te wāhi e tia ki nā nei rātou hei oranga mo te kato o te hunga aru aru. Koi nei te kai arahi o Tree Taps ko mai tona ingoa. Mā nā hei tohu tohu a Jonathan i roto i ngā mahi pūpuhi ki a taia i a te tahi tari ana uwha rā nei. Ko Treetops te kāingo e tahi o ngā kararehe rarahi i rawa atu a Aotearoa whānui. Ka taia te pūpuhi raki-raki, paihana, pōaka, sika me ngā buffalo hoki. Mēnā, ka riro ki ako e te pūtea lotau, ka taia te pūpuhi i te tahi o ngā tari ana e toru te kau o ngā pīhi mo te toru te kau ki te whātakau mano tāra te utu. Ko tahi haora au e hi koe haere ana, a, ke te ngunguru te puku, wai wai hoki ana te waha. Engari, ko te ahua nei, kua ki te Jonathan te tahi mea mana hei pupuhi. Just came on up, quite nervous as I was walking up to it. I felt the gun and it was quite heavy, I probably did need that hand to hold it up. Yeah, I yeah, lined it up, waiting for a while, I didn't really want to rush it. So I saw it running away, I was just a bit, yeah, but I'm pretty sure I shot it. What do you reckon, Mike? Yeah, I think. I think we'll just wait five minutes. I think he shot it just in, in behind the shoulder, I think. I, I saw it flinch. So, well done, gentlemen. I think I'll we'll just give it two seconds. Yeah. 
your aim, don't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I've done lots of game bird shooting, pheasant stacks. Yeah, I've been out here shooting, rabbit shooting, tons of possum spotlighting. I've been out deer hunting and pig shooting a few times, but I haven't just quite been able to get one of the big ones. But bigger than a rabbit, eh? Yeah. You reckon you can whip the guts out and stick it on your shoulders? Yep. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, we haven't got far to go anyway. That's why we got Guy Rungy Mike over here and your father to give us a hand. Yeah. Too much, alright, mate? Mm -hmm. yep, good way to spin. Lot. Good way to spin a Saturday morning, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really proud of that I shot a deer today and I'm really happy that I did to, to experience it too. Good one, mate. I congratulate you because you're the one who brought the young fella in. Oh, it's awesome. Fantastic. Teach them about food gathering? Absolutely. Well, we're, we're right into our hunting and fishing, so um, Jonathan's never shot anything this big before, but this is absolutely uh, fantastic, so I'm very proud of him. It must be great for um, young people like, like that to learn the values of hunting, eh? Absolutely, you know, it's the, the whole thing. It's not just the, the shooting, it's the, it's the um, you know, dealing with them humanely and the, the preparation and eating and, mm -hmm. and making sure we use them properly, so um, no, he knows that nothing goes to waste. I'm glad Howie's here to help me. God, Howie's a good hunter. God, Howie's my hero. Keirunga noa chukwe, Jonathan. Ka hoki anō ki te pauaka whakamatao. A, ki te noho whakahihi a Jonathan me ona mahi pūpuhi te rānei. Ka whai pakaaro hoki mō ngā kararehe whāngai nei i o mātou whānau. Ngā mihi ki a Mike me te hunga mahi o treetops. Etefano, great day enjoyed by all. Father and son combination, and now mate Mike. Shall we say, Mike? Good great. for you? Yep, great. Great to see the young fella get his first deer. Really enjoy it. Fantastic. And he did a good job. What about you, Rob? Oh, no, it was awesome. It was absolutely fantastic to see him to his uh, first deer. So, yeah, no, very proud. I know shooting your first deer was a big buzz, but what was another highlight of your hunt today? Oh, probably getting to shoot with you more experienced hunters. And yeah, seeing all the different animals and some big ones, and especially hanging out with Dad and hunting with you. And there you have it, Farno, hunting at treetops with Mike. If you want to come for a hunt, father and daughter, daughter and father, son and father, son and mother, treetops is the place to come and ask for Mike. E fai ake nei, ka hoki mai anō a era me tōna tohu tohu mo tēnei wiki, a ka hoki ngā mahara a tōku pāpā ki o nā rā patiutia i rua tāhuna. E te whanau a kōrero a whena mo tēnei wiki, Adam. Trying to make here, mate? Uh, trying to make a ladder, a simple basic rope ladder with some rope that we have around camp, uh, some good limbs. So, what we need to do is find some good uh, solid limbs that aren't going to break. Okay, roughly the same diameter size. And what we need to do is we need to space these evenly apart. When we start doing our knots, we get our knots nice and even, we don't have a wonky ladder. Okay, so this is a simple knot. Come around, go over it, bring this part of the rope here. So we've got a nice little loop here. With this here, twist and pull up. And that will slide like that. Do the other one here. We basically got our rungs there. It takes a little bit of practice just to get them evenly spaced, but um, as long as they're uh, not too far off, it shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. Handy to have for a hunter, you know. Hunter may be stuck on a cliff face and has to get down to it. Oh, it gets down. I mean, you could climb on a rope, but um, this is just a little nifty way of uh, ascending or descending down from a cliff. Okay, show us another one. Uh, what we've got here is if we're out in the bush, we want to shorten our length of rope up, a bit like a trailer hitch. Um, we don't want to cut the rope because the length of rope is very, very important. Right. We do a loop. Okay. Adjust the amount of rope that you want to uh, shorten. shorten. Okay. Make a loop up here. Now, probably a good little idea is to have a stick. We grab a stick here. We'll just put that there and there, and that'll just help it stop from slipping. Just like that. The other end, we do another loop. 
take that through and we can another stick in there. put another stick in there so that that'll stop um, everything from slipping and it'll keep that nice and tight you got another one for me okay the next one is a very simple lashing form a tag twist it around put it over there and around that one and then come through that knot that loop sorry Keep that nice and tight around here. Now if you want a bit more stability in your in your cross, just do a diagonal cross hitch here. Now to finish off, come up through this part here. And then take it under that again. And all that with a piece of string? All that with a piece of string. I always knew you were highly strung. <laughs> And Queen ate the quarter off in a TNA week. Show me a doggy now. Ko tahuri te waka o hanti nao te roi tēnei wā, ki rua tāhuna. Tu hoi mau mau kai, mau mau taonga. Mau mau tangata ki te po. Ai, te whānau, kua tai mai anō tātou ki te rohe tūturu a tūhoi e ngari. Ki tēnei wā, kua tai mai maua, kua tōku pāpā. Hei te. Kua tēnei wā, kua tēnei wā. Kua tēnei wā. Tēnei wā reka hoki tō reo e kai. Are you beyond te kaia? Oh, well, we're for a kaia. Or te kariri. Te kariri. Tēnā kua. Good to have you here, Dad, and good to have you... Volunteer or um... no? It's my pleasure. Always, always love coming back to Ruatahu. Place is getting more metropolitan all the time. Tar Seal now, beautiful buildings, but you know the atmosphere is still the same. The spirituality of this place. Te Koti used to come through here, Ruatenana. Dad Timuera, of course, was very well known and worked with the people here of Tuhue. And when I come here, I feel honoured. There's a lot of people out there don't realise that you're brought up here in deer colour. Well, they know, don't need to, but we're going to tell them about that. <laughs> hey, they have a pahu pahu. Oh, well. Pahu one and pahu two. Bit of a tippy hardy? Oh, I think so. Okay, let's go. By walk or by what? Oh, we're going to jump on that walk, I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> He pai ki te rongo i nei kōrero mo te wae tupu wake ana taku pāpa i kona i te urawera. Ki taku mōhio, he ua 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 rā, engari, ka tupu wake te te maiti i roto i te kuare mōera au huatanga, nā, ka rapu oranga anō pē taku pāpa i roto i nei mahi, arā, te whaiwhaitia. In the memories, eh, Dad? About ten years of age I was here, son. Parahaki, parahaki. Whenua Tupu, and I remember it because there were so many deer that used to abound these these clearings. They, of course, were oppressed in those days, and um, many many fine hunters came came here that I was able to learn off and to come back after all this time. Wow, man, that's uh, 60 years. Here you are, and you all grown up. Mm. I'm the so-called so hunter now. Oh, you do all right. You do all right, man. You're what, about the, what about the old, the early days, eh? the old school days? I mean, there's a few hard days, hard stories you told me about. Well, only because, you know, I came here as a Rotorua Pākehā, not knowing the language, which is an embarrassment and frustrating because when I went to the college, uh, the school, I was, in, I was in the era where, you know, you got the strap. People talk about it, but I was, I was there and part of it. What made it worse for me, though, was that I was getting it from the uh, from the bullies at the school. There weren't too many, but um, they couldn't believe that I was a Maori. Pākehā Maori, a piki mahuna, no lotoru wake. And I was getting the strap at the same time, because that's, that's the era when Maori was not to be spoken on the school grounds. But my dad did something about that. He marched up to see the principal and said, look, my fault, my wife's fault, that we haven't taught our son. And um, we don't want him to suffer the indignity of being frustrated by 
the fact that he's isolated because he can't speak the language. So they changed the rules for me. <laughs> and I went from zero to hero. <laughs> and you had your own business when you ate? Yeah, well, I went there, went there to eat and uh, milking the cows, Daisy and Betty. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to have a little tin full of um, a billy full for the postmaster, the ranger, Sister Annie, the great Sister Annie who came here, 18 year old uh, sister as a virgin. Uh, and left as an 80-something, uh, still a virgin, but a wonderful um, milestone in the history of um, bringing religion to, um, to Rhode Island. Sister Annie, I hope you are very happy. The wa is the most important Can we do me? Can we do me? This place was like an adventure playground for me, like a theme park. I was able to shoot my first deer at 11, which was a hoot, because, you know, you couldn't miss. There's so many deer around. Almost just point the rifle in the middle of them, you might get something. Um, I became more refined as time went on. Became a um, unregistered deer color for internal affairs. 10 bob a tail and two bullets. So that helped me also through uh, college. Ruatahuna will always remain an indelible part of my, my life and I hope you will carry on the tradition. The tradition is very, very important to me son, because Maori here on, on the courtyards of the Great Pai Pai of the Matatua Paramount Marae um, in Ruatahuna, when they see me they greet me as the son of Tim Werner Morrison I, in our side anyway because he did so much for the people here, in farms and that. So to be here with you, son, you know, we brought you up nice and slow to do all this, fishing and hunting. You've got the most popular program on Maori television. <laughs> right? right. Well, I do the ratings for you. Yeah. Yeah. Two meke rawa papa. E paiake nei, ka whakamatau hia e papa tona karu. Ah! Ka roatu mātou ki ngā whenua o te uruera me ngā kai mahi o Ahurei Adventures ki tā rapu kai mo te kāpata. Oh, kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Can't keep away from the place. Kia ora. Hey, very young. Oh, kia ora, Papa. Oh, Te moe whanau, Papa. Um, being the uh, neighbours at Rotorua Nea. Yeah. Right. I thought I'd bring the chief back this time. Yeah, no, good. Excellent. Then I call it. Hello, head off for a hunt? Yep. yep. I'm going to grab the rifle and get changed in. See you in five minutes. Give me ten, I have to put my makeup on. Alright. Ita ta moa ta ka timata te ko pata pata. E ngari, ka fai wahi a papa ki ta paka hoki mahara i a i a e hi koi ana. Bring him back a few memories with the old man. He's a hunt up here. 40, 50 years ago. 27 deer in one month. So I hope I don't miss him from the old fella. I think he's just here to check my eye out. Kua hari ano mātou. Ā, ka tokoaka te whakaaro ki roti a pāpā ki a whakatika te puhi o takupū. Well, I'm just going to try and line my rifle up because I'm sure it's been firing to the left. All right. I knew it wasn't my eye. So I just adjusted the, uh, the scope a bit to the left. Hopefully, right in the middle. First one. So I moved it over a bit. There's a second one there. It's about two more clicks. Two more clicks to the left should be right. Feel a bit better now. The old man couldn't even edit. Kata hika fakatika iata pua Richard Whitehall Adventures. Oh where? 
kite a wanga wanga pea ia mō māua. Ka whakarita a Richard i a ia anō ki te pūpuhi. Lift it off. Is it? Yeah. Sure. Now. Oh, well done, son. Now I went for a bigger target. And there it is there. That's the proof of the pudding. A 72-year-old eye from about 300 yards, was it? <laughs> that is some weapon, mate. Right? Now this guy here knocked the top. Look at that. Wow. Take that back and frame it. <laughs> Ka hoki anō ki te mahi aru aru me ngā whiu ngā tāwhiri mātea. Ā, ah, kua puta hoki ngātia. Me rapu tātou i tētahi, he puhinga mā pāpā. Ka whakāro ake a pāpā ki anoho tonu ki roto taraka. Ā, ah, Kariro mā kūta mahi whaiwhai, engari ki hai mātou i hua i tēnei wā. Ka kite au i te tahi tia tai tama kei ko atu. Kia horo, engari, kia toro puku taku mahi. Dumb spike, eh? Oh, that's close enough to the neck. Not bad, buddy. I think you're actually dying of old age, really. <laughs> <laughs> Have a karakia, I think, mate. <laughs> I think mean, it's a good weather because there's no rain here for a while. Yeah, nice sweet grass. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is, mate. So it is, but I tell you what, though, the, those other ones that ran off V8 motors with there's two spikers. Well, actually, it all happened quite suddenly. The tone is still in the eye, still got moi in the eyes. But we saw two spikers, another three hinds, another hind, and then this young spiker here within a space of uh, 200 metres. But uh, Dad said they'd be out because they haven't had a rain out here for a couple of months, first bit of rain, so they're all out here, here out in the open, eating the old... Sweet grass, as his old dad would say. Actually, this is real hard hunting, you know. <laughs> Four-wheel drive, real stalking in the 21st century. This poor thing never had a chance. So luckily, we eat tonight. Have you ever tried a casserole, a back steak, put a bit of curry in it, some garlic? I don't know where we get the garlic this place, so that, uh, we'll try our best, maybe some fern root? But anyway, that's the first dead deer I've seen for quite some time. Kua hua anō ngā mahi aru aru ahurei adventures i roto i te uruera mō mātou ko tōku pāpā tā Howard Morrison. Ko te tumanako, kia pai te noho a te tia ki runga i te wīra nei. He mihi nunui ki tōku pāpā mō nā kōrero Ka mau maharau i tēnei haere ngā tātou mō ake tonu atu. Ka nui taku aroha mō e pā. Haere mai, haere mai, haere mai, haere mai. Pūre tia ki a mō, he o e he. He o e ha. Come on, Rich. Beautiful soprano. Et te whānau once again, Ahure Adventures came to the party. Thanks to our whānau, Richie and Mary Ann, for being our host again. And special thanks to my dad over here, 
for taking us on a little trip down memory lane. Hey, can't wait, son. Can't wait. Can't wait. And you got the final word. The final word for yeah. me. Yeah. Don't let it It's ten out away from him, Kilda from me, and Aikuna from them. Faya i a mātou a tērā wiki i au, e aku ana ki te pūpuhi mārunga waka topa topa i te taho o te tohunga mau pua Phil Wright. Mai i reira, ka haere mātou ki te tūwheratang o te tau raki raki me tawara nikau me ana tū ngāne. How many reckon you shot so far of the series? Oh, I think see, uh, he's heard rumours that the old cameraman from Pigalala has been shooting all his deer.